So yeah, I don't think I'm getting surgery anytime soon. So hey everybody, I skipped again last week because um, things went a little bit sideways. Um, I had said before in these videos that I was supposed to have another consult on August 20th and um, I never wound up going to that. Truth be told, the past couple of months, especially since my last consult, um, I've been having some reservations about... Um, the team that I had been going to. And, um, so a couple of things happened that kind of made me say perhaps I need to pause and reevaluate. I mean, the first thing is that, you know, I have been going and meeting, um, with this team since late April and I've yet to see any of their work um, which is a little concerning. Moreover, um, the last consult that I went to um, I had been under the impression that it was going to be a team consult with all the doctors um, and there is a team of three doctors and I only wound up meeting with one of them um, for a very brief period of time. Um, the other doctor stepped in for a second and said, yeah, hi, just, you know, I'm not going to see you today. He was the first doctor that I met with and um, literally he was in the room for about five seconds, maybe, to just go, hey. I see that you're here, I'm going to be in another room and you're going to be meeting with the second doctor today. And for that meeting, they charged my insurance like $150, which not quite on the up and up. Um, and you know, when Rachel and I were waiting, um, for my appointment, which um, we could see down the hallway to where the uh, exam rooms were, and how shall I explain what it looked like? Um, yes, yeah, um, Scooby Dooish would probably be how I would frame it. It seemed hyper disorganized. Um, I mean, that's sort of the overall theme that I've been running into. Um, in trying to schedule a consult in the beginning of the year, I, I was getting different information from some of the people in the offices that I was talking to. You know, I was told before I could even schedule a consult, I needed to have all my letters together. And then when I showed up, they're like, oh yeah, so you need to go get letters. I'm like, well, why did I have to wait in order to do this? Um, if, uh, you're telling me now that I need to get them, so why couldn't I schedule this months and months ago? Everybody that I've talked to has said that the surgeon is very good. But again, I haven't seen their work, and I don't know that I can base, um, a life-changing, uh, decision just on word of mouth. Um... But even if that is the case, the operation around um, the team of surgeons is chaotic. And um, so kind of like the last nail in the coffin was that um, I went for that consult in which 
I met with one doctor, saw another one for about five seconds just to say hi, I'm not going to see you today. I was charged for that as well. Paid my co-pays, um, and then I received another bill, which I shouldn't have, which I don't know if somebody's just not doing, um, filing things properly, or if they were trying to balance bill me. I don't know. But I shouldn't have gotten any more bills for the last consult that I had. So, I'm very kind of put off as far as um, my confidence with this team. So, um, that has kind of led me to start looking around again. Um, and as much as I'd rather not have to kind of start from scratch, um, I would rather make sure, even if in the end of this I wind up getting SRS with this team, um, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I would rather be sure that they are the right people to help me with um, this rather significant um, irreversible life-altering um, change. So, so I don't know where that is leaving me right now. Um, and honestly, it's um, kind of put me in a crappy headspace last week. I was not quite in the headspace to to make a video last week. Um, I had had plans to do a video about my birthday. To be fair, I got to jump on it because, you know, 12 o'clock on my birthday, I was ready to go and I was filming. So yeah. It's my birthday. But this came up, and so that video kind of went by the wayside. So going forward, what am I going to do? Well, while I am looking into options, nothing has tangibly changed otherwise. I need to lose weight anyhow. I need to get in better shape. Um, not just in order to have surgery, but for myself. And um, it's getting to the point that even just looking at um, these videos, just the difference between my first video in this series to the one I did a couple weeks ago, it's a noticeable difference. And um, I feel so much better than I did when I started doing these weekly updates. So I'm just going to continue and I hope that you guys will come along for the ride. And even if I don't wind up getting SRS the next few months, the next year or so, there are still many transition related things that I need to work on. So at least for now, that's what we're going to focus on here. And, um, and, and I would love if you guys would stick with me and help keep me accountable. Um, if you see me slipping in, shoving pizza in my face, please, somebody stop me. Because I really, 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 really want pizza. But I also really want to be healthy. So that's where I am. What have you guys been up to lately? Let me know down in the comments. And do the usual things, like share, subscribe. And have you ever run into anything similar where you thought everything was going to be hunky-dory with the surgery, and then... Poof, things went haywire. Let me know. I would love to hear about it. 
And uh, if you have any suggestions for good surgeons around the tri-state area of New Jersey, send me that too. And I know last week I promised a less talky video. I've got some ideas, so stay tuned. And in the meantime, I'll see you around.